think it's time to cocktail it. So let's get lit with a cocktail from Brit. Ta -da. Cocktails with Brit. Hi. Brit is the star of Washington Square, which is closed now. It was an absolute resounding success. She is a total gifted genius on stage. She also has a talent at mixing drinks, which is a fun side note. Mm -hmm. We are going to make a cocktail that Brit invented, kind of leaning towards another person's cocktail, but it's really Brit's creation, uh, called the Washington, Washington Square. And this is named after our play. So we, we spoke briefly about it. Actually, we spoke a couple times about it. Mm -hmm. What is Washington Square? Creaking floorboards, smoky fires, old people who are in the way. <laughs> no, that's, that's incorrect. Um, storied things. I think sipping things. It's like storied things, that things like not time. things that are like, hey, what's going on? It's not a drink like that. It's more like, hey, I want to tell you something. I need you to listen very carefully to me. Sit back. Or there's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the drink that Brick created. The Washington Square. So based on all of that information, uh, I started looking into a scotch cocktail for smokiness. I had told Randy over the winter to get allspice dram. As you know, it changed my life. It's fantastic. And this to me is something that you, you add allspice dram to something and that's a sipper. It's a beautiful herbaceous Allspice, it's nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, you get everything in it. So when I was looking up cocktails, I found a cocktail by a woman named Megan Dorman from Lantern's Keep, which is a bar in the Iroquois Hotel. And she created this cocktail as a nod to, I believe she's also a redhead, as a nod to redheads. And in hers, she uses honey and a blended scotch whiskey. So we're going to use a single malt whiskey which, because I forgot to buy the blended whiskey. But also it works, because it's totally something that the doctor from the play would drink. He's not her drinking father. blended stuff. Her scotch. father. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. So Megan's version incorporates a blended now, can scotch Can I just whiskey. interrupt you? Mm -hmm. I grew up with a family called the Dormans. My question is, Megan, are you related to the Dormans? <laughs> Let us know, Megan. <laughs> that I grew up with? They're New Yorkers. I don't think there was a redhead, though. I can't really remember. Was his name Alvin Dorman? Is that your dad? Okay, continue. Okay, uh, blended scotch whiskey and honey. I'm allergic to honey, so we're using agave. Um, oh, for reals. For reals allergic to honey. So we're gonna do our single malt whiskey, or our single malt scotch, uh, Luxardo oh. cherry in place of a cherry hearing. But this is not the Luxardo cherry in the rattan thing. This is a special thing they made, which is kind of like their cherry hearing, which is a syrupy, very rich, very rich very... syrupy cherry sort of brandy kind of. But this is Luxardo. This was a limited thing they did a couple years ago. It was hard to get the bottle, but I'm, I'm thrilled to use it. It's brand yeah, new. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, Allspice dram and lemon juice. So any bartender will tell you, you should put your non-alcohol in the shaker first so that if you mess up the measurements, you're not wasting beautiful alcohol that you spend a lot of money on. So we're gonna start with our lemon juice. We're gonna do three quarter ounce lemon, which half a lemon should get you close to a full ounce, so you shouldn't have to use more than that. Really? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do three quarter lemon juice. Measure that out. Remember, you wanna hold your jigger as close to your tin as possible. Well, she was right, it is an ounce. And we're gonna do, the original again called for honey, we're doing agave. And if you made this into a syrup, you'd be um, diluting it. We're not gonna make it into a syrup because it takes more time and it's pointless. Uh, so instead of doing half an ounce, we're gonna do a quarter ounce because it's a bit thicker and like so many a bit more things. viscous. If you know how to cook, you're like, that's ridiculous. Like you just yeah. did. Yeah. You don't need to dilute it. A uh, quarter ounce of our allspice dram. Oh, I did way too much. So we're gonna do- Take a sip. Sorry, bottoms up. <laughs> Perfectly measured. And one and a half ounce of our balvenie. You're making a single drink, which is good. Making a single okay. drink. And now we're gonna do something, um, we're gonna shake this drink first, and then we're gonna add the cherry, because we want that, the cherry is going to work as almost a garnish. You'll see it settle at the bottom of the drink. Uh, okay. This cocktail goes on a giant cube. For or, the or Brit would like it, or the lady, 
Mm -hmm. And Britt's using that part of her recipe. Once it's served over a large rock, you can buy these anywhere, or you can use your silicone mousse mold or whatever mm -hmm. to make it, or not. You can just use yeah. small rocks. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to grab our big rock for serving right. and our regular but ice she has for to move the dog, so I gotta it could take dog. a second. Why don't you come <laughs> on? Come with me. Excuse they me, dogs. Excuse me, babies. <laughs> These are our silicone ice molds. We're gonna pop one of these bad boys out, put it in the glass. It's best to have your serving glass and everything prepared before you start shaking so your drink isn't sitting on ice for too long. Ta-da. It's beautiful, Britt, geez. Now remember, it doesn't matter what you look like, you can't be worried about it. The point is, the ice goes from this end to this end multiple times. Even though she still looks pretty good. Now you can hear it. When you hear it start breaking up, that's when you've shaken it enough. When you really hear the ice starting to break up and incorporate. Um, I'm gonna double strain this one. You don't have to. All right. Now we're gonna add the cherry as the garnish. We're gonna do a quarter ounce of this. And you're just gonna drizzle this right over the top of the drink. Now you'll see it settle yep. along the bottom. It gets that beautiful ring. It's not just the garnish, it's also a wonderful way to finish the cocktail. So as the ice is melting and you're getting down to the bottom, it's gonna finish off with a nice sweet cherry on top, you might say. I, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. And I also think it's it's kind of, it's elegant. Mm -hmm. Shall we stand and have a little yeah, dance? Let's do. Okay. Well, bizarrely, it has an apple smell, which is, kind of interesting because it looks like mm -hmm. apple cider, sort of. I mean, that is absolutely divine. And look at that, look at the rock on top. Like a beautiful diamond, like a little gem. A little, little gem. A little acorn. Little, 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 yeah, she has a line, ones. little acorn and a little diamond cup. That's mm -hmm. one of your lines, yeah. Damn, it's a really good drink, Adam. It's really good. Tart, smoky. Yeah, it's smoky. It does have a little bit of an apple cider taste. Too. Yeah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I like to think that the lemon in it is like the God. penniman. Yeah, or the cherry is the penniman. Mm -hmm. her, her aunt in the play is a busybody, but turns out to be a dangerous busybody. Dangerous busybody. But um, that's exquisite. Mm -hmm. Lift that up in your hand and we'll praise it to the Washington Square. To Washington Square. Always. <laughs> now, let's make some more cocktails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, Britt. Yeah. What do you have up your sleeve? sleeve? Uh, I'm here to make a, a surprise birthday Uncle cocktail. This is going to be called The Randall. Is this really a birthday surprise? Yeah, it's really a birthday surprise. It's really um, a birthday surprise it's because- It's Randy's birthday. It's Randy's, it's Randy's birthday. Because I'm turning 60. 60. It big means six, there's a long time here, but only a short time here. It's a long time here, but this time here is getting very small. Continue. So during that <laughs> shorter time, we don't want you to be faced. So we're going to make a low ABV cocktail. I, think faced. <laughs> I don't think you've ever seen me <laughs> faced. You've seen it's me true. very tipsy. This cocktail has uh, tomato and cucumber, which are very nourishing. And I say tomato while Randy says tomato, but I really do say that. It's not an affect. Mm -hmm. um, I have to think to... to say tomato. We're going to muddle tomato and cucumber with fino sherry which oh. has a really nice salinity to it. But and I, our doctor told me I can't have sherry. But he's not gonna watch Okay. <laughs> um, Fino sherry, really nice salinity. A nod to your love of the ocean. It's made oh, out of nice. the Atlantic. We've got method vermouth. Ones. Method vermouth is made locally by a bartender named Corey Fitzsimmons. He started making it during the lockdown and it is what fabulous. Lo what lockdown? Sorry, uh, COVID. What is that? I never uh, heard COVID of that. COVID 2020. 
I don't know what that is. Well, we'll, we'll look at it later. Okay. So this ties to you in that this is made using quite a bit of tradition. It's traditionally made, but using New York ingredients. So it's infused with a lot of New York heart. And then we've got Cap Corse, which is made in Corsica, France. This Brandy. is a brand new thing to me. Mm -hmm. Randy wants to become extremely fluent in French, so we're adding a little French cap course. This is basically like a blanc vermouth, but where vermouth uses yeah uses wormwood as a bittering agent, cap course uses uh, quinine. quinine. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna muddle and then we're gonna use orange bitters. This doesn't really have a Randyism to it. Sometimes you're bit bit no. <laughs> No. I don't really like um, oranges, so it has nothing to do with nothing me. But anyway, <laughs> it adds a spiciness to the cocktail. Yeah, there you go. Okay. This smells amazing. Look at the gorgeous label. It's right up my alley. Go to it. Let's go. Are you really making a cocktail called the Randall? Yes, this is the Randall. This is for really for my birthday. I also, I brought a jalapeno because I know you look like at spice. Look at how beautiful that Isn't one is. Jesus, it's Mary perfect. and Joseph, look at that. We're not going to put it in the cocktail. But it's, you can... a, it's almost a tricolor. Hit it. All right. She's cutting tomatoes. Cutting tomatoes. <laughs> I have to give up my garden, you know. It's gonna be weird buying everything again. Uh, you know it's an uptown problem, but it's it's sad. It is sad. Yeah. Now, have you muddled stuff before? No. Great. I usually steer away from muddling. Steer away. I steer away from anything that involves something like this. <laughs> Well, it's super fun, and we're not shaking it because the to shake it would break up. You'd get a lot of like the tomato skin flavoring as opposed to the juice from the tomato. There's it would incorporate a lot more of the skin. So Britt is using the 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 shorthand of the stick. Yes, she's I forgot my the, muddler. She's using uh, the this uh, as a muddler. What is a muddler? Well, the word muddle, as you may know, means to crunch up together. So that's literally what it does. Mm -hmm. You're pressing down on the thing to muddle it together. Also, I'm muddling. Muddled, like my thinking. Right now I'm muddling quite a bit because I'm making two cocktails in one. Normally I would half that. Dose. Put like Dose three little cocktail. tomatoes in there. This calls for, again, I'm doubling this, no, but. No, no, no. Dr. Salik, who's we actually both of our doctors, he told me uh, we were going through some stomach problems and he said uh, that I couldn't drink sherry anymore. But he said it like it was a known, I didn't tell him anything about sherry. He was talking to me and then he goes, oh yeah, you also can't drink sherry. And I was like, you know what? You're totally Indeed. right. When I, but I love a fino sherry. In fact, I'm hoping Britt leaves this and I'll recompense her. I will. I'll recompense her for it because I do like a sherry. I also like sake, which apparently I can't drink as well. I'm not supposed to drink sake mm -hmm. or sherry. Or really, cognac, cognac. or brandy of any, any sort of fortified wine, vermouth. Which I have for to example. Love. I'm using my mixing glass only because I realize we're making two and Randy's mixing glass is only kind of built for one. So we're just gonna do this. Not because it's I would mine have said is that any was built better. For, mine is bigger than yours. No. Mine's much wider. This is fat. It's got a lot of sorry. How dare it's you. large. It's my birthday. <laughs> sorry, this is your birthday cocktail. Back to the Randall. Okay. So we've muddled, we've muddled our veggies. Now. Uh, one and a half ounces of fino sherry. Look at that. It already looks delicious. Again, I'm doubling this up, so we're gonna do three ounces. Dr. Salek! Shh, don't, Dr. Salek, don't watch this. Actually, do. we like you a lot. We love you. Actually, when I go to fancy restaurants, if I really wanna be fancy, hold on, I, I order a sherry because I love sherry. The problem is, if they like you, they give you two. They refill your glass and Honestly, that's too much sherry mm -hmm. for me, but I, but I will drink it, no problem. So we have Method Dry Vermouth. Never had this before. Super tasty, locally made, fantastic. This is gonna be three quarter ounce. Ooh, it's aniseed-y. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm doing one and a half because we're making two. It already looks like something I would order. And now the cap course. This is fascinating. This is super tasty on the rocks, on the rocks with soda, on the rocks with tonic. Is it easy to find, Britt? Oh, it's fairly easy, yeah. In New York it is. I don't know about, you might have to get online to get it outside of New York. Um, so th this is like for your fabulous, well, I'm being very immodest, but this is like for your fabulous friend while they're sitting there. Yes. Because it's so colorful and beautiful. You have to know what you're doing. Um, once again, just to repeat, cocktails are a very beautiful thing to offer at a party, but somebody must be only in charge of that. Like yes. they always say. But this is a very beautiful, 
I don't believe you really made this and really called it the Randall. I really did. It's actually, it's based on a cocktail called the Bamboo, but this is so different from short, that. Long, um, short. Now we're gonna do two dashes of the orange bitters per drink. Great, now we're gonna stir it with some ice. So I'm gonna get some ice. Now stirring a cocktail, the whole point is you're diluting it. So you wanna stir it, I'd say roughly this drink because it's got so much going on, like 30 seconds. Um, but just keep an eye on your ice. But isn't it true, Britt, that if a cocktail ha has something besides alcohol, it's it's Should usually- be shaken? Yes. Usually, yes. The, again, the reason I'm not shaking this cocktail is because I don't want to really, I don't want to like break up I all the skin. It. But you could easily shake it and you'd be fine. I'm gonna double strain this just so we don't get our tomato seeds in the cocktail. Uh, now she makes fun of me on my birthday. No, I'm, I'm just trying, I'm oh, just consistency. Oh. Look at that color, isn't that pretty? I'm very impressed. It has no hard liquor in it. No. You can have a couple of you these. You can have a couple of these. This is I, I barely got through the other cocktail you had. So here's the other fun thing. Oh, these uh, are fabulous. This Look is at great. these. So, so Washington Square, our play, features quite a bit of uh, needlepoint and sewing. So I found these really long sewing needles and we're gonna put our garnish on this. Gorgeous. We're gonna cut just a few little. Dangerous in a bar, but gorgeous at home. Yeah, I wouldn't. So I would not it's have too, them too at the pointy, bar. But it's amazing. You never know what people are going to do with the stuff you give them at bars. Um, so I just did a shave of cucumber, which if folded over. Just a shave of cucumber. Just watch this, so we can go like a little ribbon. Pretty fancy, Brit. Yeah, let me just stick right through there. Oh wow! Like that. Or we could do. Do half that. Dude. Dude. And this is- Do you ever, how, do, do ever, sorry honey, do you no, ever no. put this here and then pour the drink over the garnish? You could do that, depending on what the garnish is. If the garnish was like influencing the taste of the cocktail, since this was already in it. You can have fun with the garnish. The garnish is like, I, know, after I love you, this part. After you came during Christmas, I tried to do this at Christmas and I was like, okay, you guys are getting like olives. <laughs> That's <laughs> cute. This is more chic, I think. Yeah. Beautiful, Brit. Yeah. So it should be slightly vegetal um, and beautiful. Vitamin and vegemin? Vitamin and vegemin, <laughs> the Randall. So in my opinion, I'm just gonna remove this before yeah. I drink it, yeah. okay? Could also stick it in the cocktail. However you want. To Randall, how are pre -bar star? 60th birthday. Mm -hmm. 60th, 60. Here's to us who's like us damn few and they're all dead. Cheers. Ooh. Uh, that's incredible. It's kind of like a Pimm's cup in a weird way. Yeah. Ooh, that's deadly. You could drink a lot of this. Brian Barnhart. Oh, yes. Why don't you come in and try this? Brian, come taste. Come in, come around. What's in? It it's, it's absolutely fine. One sip is not gonna kill you. Here you go. Oh. oh, it's Brian Barnhart, Hi, the Brian. producer from so Access. Yes. Mm. I feel like I'm getting nutrition and alcohol. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yummy. Do you not? It's quite delicious. Yeah. Isn't it yummy? She makes a mean delicious. cocktail. What is this called again? The Randall. Oh, the Randall. Yes. What a great name. Isn't it though? For a drink or a person. I'm telling you, your name shapes who it's you are. Yeah. Right, and it, right it also <laughs> shapes your cocktail. Thank you, Britt. Oh yeah. And Cocktails with Britt and Brian stopped by. Look at that. So it's a lot of people from Axis in the room. Lynn and Regina are in the room. Uh, are you guys family. here? Yeah. <laughs> and it's um, a fantastic birthday. Week and a half. No, it's just a little bit here. Mm. This is the life already. And then there's just this little section here. That's it. That's all that's left. Right behind you. Yeah, by about eight years. <laughs> that's a long Still time. Funny. Cheers. Thank you for watching Dinner Party tonight. Cocktails with Brit. It's me. Na 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 What's happening? Happy birthday! 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 Happy birthday!
Happy birthday! What are you talking about? Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! birthday. 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 <laughs> wow, you guys! What the age? There's no way you can do it on one inhale, but wow. <laughs> How beautiful is this cake? Why'd you guys do this? Day. All right, uh, who's gonna do the honors? You better, somebody better oh. do it if it's a oh. birthday cake. So do you know what's in this room? Oh. What's what? in the room? Everything from Randy's last year, all the sorrow, all the pain, oh. all the suffering, the all the loss, the failure, the failure. The rejection, the failure. rejection is in this room. Still in this room, so what does it want to do? Go into Randy's next year. It wants to get no, into no. her next year. No. We can't have that. No, 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 no we can't. No. It's going to be a good one. So what are we going to do? We're going to scare, scream and scare, scare it away. Out. What are we going to scare out? The oh, loss, right. the failure, the, 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 the regret. <laughs> Will you help her? Yes. yes. Will you help her? Yes. yes. All, right. All right. When Randy plunges the knife into the cake, you are going to scream as loud as you can. So that we scare away all of the suffering, the pain, the regret. Are you ready? Yes. Ah! <laughs> birthday cake, birthday cake, birthday cake, birthday cake, birthday cake. What is this? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est ça? Uh, donne-moi un uh, don, uh, donne uh, uh, couteau, voilà, un petit couteau, merci. I'll get better, Rosalind, I promise. Yes. Oh, what's this? Oh, Prosecco. Oh, yeah, yeah. Je l'aime, je l'aime, j'aime Prosecco. Yes, cake and Prosecco. Cocktails, Brit, Lynn, Reggie, Brian, Adam, and Nicholas. What more could you ask for? Thanks, guys. So today we had two cocktails with Brit. Hi, Brit. Hello. We made the Washington Square, a delicious, smoky, apple-y, living room, library-y cocktail. Not for the faint of heart. Then, as a great surprise, Brick created the cocktail, the, the Randall. Randall. Sort of a salad in a liquor drink. Mm. Mm. After that, there was a crazy birthday surprise, which was actually a total surprise. To Randall, how are pre-barthed are? <laughs>